Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create an auto rig in Maya so that we can quickly create and skin a character in Maya in a few minutes. Okay, so you can see that the rig has almost all the features that are required for a rig to have. Uh, not a hero rig uh, with all the details and all the controls. But a real quick rig if you want to just pose a character or create some very basic animations. All right. Uh, and then further, uh, you can add more bones and uh, create a little advanced rig. So, uh, definitely not for a hero uh, full definition rig, but a very good way of creating a rig that can be created in a few minutes and you can do some basic animations with it. All right, so let us get started. We will open uh, a character. So you you need to have a fully model model character. I'm going to go to under rigging skeleton quick rig, and I'm going to delete what I have. So right now I have a character which is one single mesh. All right, so it's just one object. Okay, let me go to Outliner and there are certain things we can get rid of these. Alright, so you can see that it's just a plain simple character placed at the origin. Alright, so how the auto rig wa works is uh, again, I'll go to Skeleton Quick Rig. Select the character and there are two options one leg and step by step. So we're going to look at the first one and click on auto rig. And it is going to create a rig for you immediately. Okay, so you can see that you can start animating, but you can see that the rig is not created properly. All right, even the elbow is not in the right place all right but you can see that with the click of a button you have the skin and the bones and the controls ready with ik setup and the other important thing about this rig is if you see if i move the hand down the entire body is going to react this is amazing all right so this makes your animation work really easy all right and then you can move it back up. All right, so we don't want this. We'll delete it and we are back. And then now we will go to step by step. All right, uh, so we will click on the plus button to initiate a rig. We'll add the geometry into the rig. We are going to leave all these settings default you can see that you can change the number of spines and neck if you have a longer neck or if you want more control over the spine and shoulder if you want hip translation this might be useful for gaming uh, but we are going to leave everything the way it is and we're going to say create and generate in user adjustment of guides okay so we'll click here uh, we have to click here first sorry and what it does is it's going to create all these pointers uh, to suggest us which is the right position for each joint so now you can see that maybe your hip is not in the right place i'm only going to fix one and then you should fix it in both the front view and the side view so that your rig is placed correctly inside the geometry so the knee i want the knee to be here and then this knee has to be in the front and this is the ankle so it looks like it's in the middle here i can move this and then place it where i want the ankle joint to be so maybe here somewhere maybe a little down all right and then there is the ball 
and I want the ball to be here. So then if you want to make the change, you can make that. Alright, and then what we have to do is we have to mirror these placements. So instead of doing it on the other side, you will click on this. So I did the left and then move it on to the right. Okay, uh, you can move on the spine, so you can decide where you want all the joints to be. You can try to put it where the spine lines are. This is the neck, so I'll put the neck joint here. And there is a head joint, I'll try to put it on top here. Or leave it in there, it's okay. Uh, this one I will move it here. This is the shoulder, so I'll put it in the shoulder. And then now I want to make sure that the shoulder is in the right place, so I'll use the top view. This is the elbow, so little in the back and in the back here. This is the wrist. I'll put the wrist joint here. Okay, again, mirror it, mirror it, and mirror it. Okay, so now we got all our joints in the right place. So we'll go to skeleton, quick rig, step by step, and then we will click on skeleton and ring generation all right and uh, once that is done then you click on create and update the skin so now our character is rig now uh, if you don't want this to happen then you can use this option and now it will be a normal rig okay but if you want this, then you can use this option. Right? That is the edge IK rig. Uh, you can scale these controls big and small. Okay. And if you want the controls to be different, you can click on here and make them look like a box or wire. Alright, so that's up to you. So that's basically how the quick rig works. Uh, you can add more bones for the hand and then connect it and then you can also work on the skinning if you're not happy with the skin. Uh, you can work on the skin also. Okay, so you can paint weights and all but I'm not going to cover that one in this class but real quickly you can see that you are you can model the character and immediately move on to animation within a few minutes. So that's amazing. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.